I could tell that Stiff Pup would be something very fresh, something that representing a, a new wave in Cape Town. Stiff Pup is coming through with a sound that, you know, hasn't been heard of before. They're really about like the African flavor, the African feel. And that's what it kind of sounds like, a lot of it, right? It is electronica, boom, hip hop. And I like what they were doing individually and then when they came to me I wasn't like, I was like okay, this is going to be good. They won Battle of the Bands, Afropunk, um, played CTMF. They've come pretty far, like now they're doing events like Opi Kopi. The momentum is there, uh, there's new music coming out. It's just a combination of just fresh things that uh, young South Africans are loving. Hey yo man, hip hop will never die, fuck old heads. Even when I was a kid, like even when I was trying to like rap and like come up with like new flows, like old heads would be like, no, why don't you do it like this guy? Why don't you do it like this person? Cause bruh, I'm young, I got fresh energy. I got like a new mind. I'm trying to do this like differently. That's why South African music is at the standstill right now. Cause the people who are at the top are old. So you have to produce this beat in like ten, ten minutes. minutes. Yeah, man. I can't do that. I don't know why I agreed to it. But like, I guess I like the challenge. I feel like you have produced the beat in ten minutes. So. Yeah, by accident. That's the thing. Like, you don't actually plan. You don't start, and you're like, oh wait, now in the next ten minutes, I'm gonna have something. It's kind of like, oh wait, I actually have something. We never came into it saying, yo, man, we're gonna mix. Boom, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do. What we do when we make music is just like sit down and your kind of makes a beat and I'm like, yo, I like this vibe, this kind of flow, which I have on my mind right now. And then I freestyle it. I ever thought we were gonna meet up at Rez uh, and then all go together, like to the studio. But it looks like there was a mu miscommunication. It's basically a feeling process where else like other people are just like, Hey, yo, what's happening in the world, okay? People are on trap right now, let me do a trap song. Where else we like, yo man, I'm feeling like making this song, so let me make this song. And that's basically it. What we're gonna do now is listen to our new EP that we're working on and like do a bit of the mixing for that. Cause then like, we're gonna hear them a lot better in like the studio setting. Um, so yeah, I mean, in the meantime, you can just hang the tent for a bit. Okay, Brian cool. Brian is going to finish up with uh, Bradley and then, um, yeah, he will basically say job. Okay, cool. Um, That's fine. What's your name? Ayema. Ayema, yes. Ah, but Ayema will know his way. That was this guy, man. How nice of you to join us. Are you ready? Cause I'm full of the feet of fam So get too much of the money yeah. I feel like I'm feel like Rocket and your doze I don't feel like Some ahead of my time I'm lit yeah. I will start recording La la Know you are the realest Ain't you from the hood uh, I've been running out of time I've been running out of time Trying to find peace of mind I've been running out of love it feels really weird sometimes speaking English, like to, especially knowing like I rap from a perspective of being me. <laughs> I grew up in Durban, like we speak English. So. I was dealing with my mind before a nigga gonna die. I better got to bang bang. Nobody knows me like you do. You got my back with his crown. Nobody knows you like I do. You my superman with his not. Tell you what my secrets. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. 
Mm. I got another part, man, for that Shandis because my verse was supposed to be like going into Shandis's where we can like add effects or something. But it's like at the end, like, and then. Like after my verse, it should be just this part where it's like, it's ending. Remember that last time? Like it shouldn't be bounced, it should be just like this, like this, like. Thing. I'm just like maintaining this note like Yazoo <laughs> Like we can like we can fucking like put like distortion or whatever to create like this like this like sad ass shit. My name is Jakinda. I'm at Red Bull Studios, Cape Town. About to make a beat in 10 minutes for Rapsy TV's Me Against Time. Let's get it. work like we generally want to be we can we generally just tell each other like ideas that we have was I had like a, a like a much longer like much faster version of the song and then I am uh, kind of like told me to like sl uh, slow it down and then like structure it so it, that's like what he kind of wanted with that song so he uh, he usually does like comment but not necessarily in terms of how sh how it should sound but like how we should arrange things but we also like respect each other's space and stuff like we don't really get too involved in each other's work three minutes to go Time up, is that yeah. like it? Damn, okay, well I have a beat at least. Look out for the new music coming out. That's from Stiff Pub. Got a new EP coming out. Won't say the date, won't say the name, but look out for those on our social media platforms. And yeah, there's some exciting stuff on the way. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having me. Yo man, can you take like pictures of me in studio, man? Like, just so like, the girlies could know I was in the studio. I also want I want this photo man with the okay, in Cape Town there's not a lot of venues. Mm. You can start to have a name here, but you can't like say yeah. like you stay uh, here forever. Man, nah. You just have to move Josie. Yeah. I feel like Cape Town is, is is super segregated basically because of like apartheid. Places like the townships are very far from the CBD and even the colored areas are a bit further from the CBD. You get different vibes from different places. In Joburg you don't get that way. It's like you feel everything is the same. By this time next year, obviously graduated and trying to go to Joburg, we're trying to be be close to the people because that's what the business end of, of this thing is. And we feel like when we're in Joburg we might drive because like, we just like the energy. When we're there, we hustlers, we grinders, we like grinding. And Joburg is a very, like, fast-paced and, and crazy hey. city. Hey. 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 Hey, guys. We still fuck, and we're shooting our first music video. Para. Para, 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 uh. Um, para cash, um, para mash, using your zombies and the color feeling. Too low when I've been in challenge, yeah. Push up at the eggs over the mid. I keep it live, what am I sack? Dude, this is so good. This is a pretty good operation, bro. Like, why not Maradona? Why not Maradona? In the Hood or Township, I used to play soccer. So, homies used to have nicknames. If you used to be like a yo, yo, homie, they'll probably be like yo, Maradona. I'm on the second verse. Um, I'm basically the boss in the video. The first scene, my opponent, I am uh, fighting one of my goons. So one of my my soldiers, basically. My soldier lost, and now I'm the final boss. So I have to come redeem my my collective, my squad, my gang. <laughs> used to throw parties and book Simi to perform at the party. Oh, it's like, yeah. that's how, like, I know this guy. We think so organic and it's like really dope to make our first music video. I dropped a mixtape called Look It Nya. 
and I had a launch party actually just up the road right there at, at it's a place waiting room so yeah they Jakinda threw the party because he has this thing called Trap Tuesdays so he threw the party but it was my event it was my launch party and then they opened and that's kind of like how we started performing together but like a song where you're like yo I have to feature like this artist and it's gonna flow it feels like yo we just made music with our friends <laughs> We recorded this song in Jakinda's bedroom. I was sitting on his bed recording my vo my verse. So they've come a pretty long way. Step up, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. What are you studying? Yeah. Become fucking accounting. Hate that shit. <laughs> Fuck. I just stressed, dog. Like you even told me that. I'm like, damn. That's a real nine to five shit, dog. That's like yeah. I wanna be on the now, like office, like job. Yeah. Like it's high. We like fashion and we like like designing. Like, like a lot of visual things. So we see ourselves more than the music. And I think that can have like a lot of profit to it. And so like I think this degree might help me in terms of I, I know how to run a company. I know what to do to get A, B and C. And I know like all the technicalities of running a company and improving a company. Look at it black and orange. I'm looking like that orange. I don't make it up. That's that orange. On front, it feels like it's isolating when you're more like when you, you used to know someone and chill with them and you don't say hi. It I, feels I would really agree. weird. Like, yeah? I would still, I would still go for the green because while I'm not, it's not like I'm not familiar. Yeah. Like I'm familiar. I just want you guys like greet and say hi. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Mali, it go well. I've always loved Corner Store because like the brands here are really dope. When we did our first EP, we did our EP cover wearing Soul Soul. I think I actually have the picture. I'm gonna show you the picture. When we did our first EP cover, we hit, we hit them up. And I was like, yo man, like, can you like hook us up with some threads for the shoots? And then they were like, yeah. We have different types of pups. You guys don't know that. You know, I know. That. No, I know there's different rounds of pups, but I yeah, don't know yeah, the different we types. Have ten pups. Now here in South Africa, we have stiff pup. Not the regular pup, but this like strong, bulky pup. It makes sense even in our sound, because our sound is very like dense and bulky and rough like Stiff Pup is. They both came in the studio one day and they had some tracks and they were like, yo, this is our project Stiff Pup. Uh, we've got these tracks, it was like Lala and a few others and they are like, will you release this? And I listened to it and I was like, that's amazing, I'd love to put that out. And then fast forward a year, we licensed it for Red Bull Culture Clash, this huge event we did in Joburg, like at a stadium. And uh, it was like the official anthem. <laughs> When we were there, bro, when they said no more brandy, I knew it was, was like, going to be done before we come back. This is when Shingy dad. He fetches, Shingy fetches a dad and he's like, 
so when it, whenever that gap comes out, I'm like, no, it's lit. That's the machine he dab. And I am, this is this, this is the I am. He's just like, yo, how you doing? Hey, a year ago, um, Steve Pop was playing at the just OK launch. I remember watching that night, and when they got off stage, I went to Jakinda and I, am, I said, the problem now is that you can't ever be anything less than as good as that. They stop being my homies, just my homies. They're just objectively, they're just super, super lit at what they do. There's a couple of uh, rappers from Cape Town that are representing Cape Town, but I think Stiff Pop just happened to be here. So I don't think it's very like locked to Cape Town yeah. and an identity of Cape Town. As even Andrew was saying, like, it's not just restricted to here. We're trying to do, we're trying to take over the world. We're gonna get the young Paris call soon. They're like, yo. Okay. Gonna get the young Brussels call, like, yay. We need that because they pop us forever. Next year we're in Joburg, we just hope to be relevant enough to be there for five years. But in five years time, we wouldn't mind being the biggest in the country. So in five years time, it's gonna be like top 10, if not top five, like biggest artists in the country. And also like one of the most exciting acts, if not the exciting acts in the country or in the world even. That's where we're trying to go. Honestly, what I got from you is like, oh, chillin', man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Damn, man, why well, you gotta leave, bruh? Damn. <laughs> I ain't trying to fuck up this video. We should bro. just have, like, we can just Photoshop him and he'll just Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, let me, can I explain to this one? Hey, yo, man, Chakin, this is why I'm alone now. Chakin just went for his visa appointment. Had to leave me all alone. Nah, I'm alone, man. In the interview. I don't like being alone in interviews, man. Like, people only like yourself, actual, but I'm like, bro, I'm shy as hell. Like, that's why I talk a lot, because I'm shy, man. Yeah, Jakinda went to an interview, and yeah, I'm alone now. So, see me. I'm alone with everyone in the entire world. <laughs>